starring Don Estridge. And now for news, weather, sports, and more, welcome to the Dragon's Den. Don Estridge, I'm Drew Strochak. And I'm Carter Maine. Today is Friday, April 27, 2007. Please stand now for the Pledge of Allegiance. Today's lunch menu is popcorn chicken with roll, Mexican pizza, toasted cheese pizza, submarine sandwich, whole grain roll, and green beans. As you have seen today, people are wearing hats. If you paid to wear your hat today, please make sure your sticker is visible. And thank you for supporting our awesome Odyssey team. Team, <laughs> did you see our school on the news this week? Watch this. Some local students want their voices heard when it comes to how the media covered the Virginia Tech tragedy. Brian Albert got an earful when he went to a middle school in Boca Raton today. Brian? Kristen Lisa, the debate over the media's coverage of the Virginia Tech massacre has journalism students at Don Estridge High Tech Middle School taking action. I asked my students how many had seen the coverage and kind of what they thought of it. What most of them thought was that the media crossed the line in their coverage of the Virginia Tech massacre. The news media gave the killer a public voice. These students at Don Estridge High Tech Middle School felt there was too much attention given to the killer and not enough to the victims. They have a voice. Uh, and that their voice should be heard. So Mark Stansel students sent emails mostly critical to local TV stations and newspapers. I am currently writing this to demonstrate my displeasure with your news station at this time. When I looked to the news media for more information on the victims of the attacks, I was dismayed to find more information on the killer than on the killed. You are giving him exactly what he wanted. He wanted the news media to publish his pictures, videos, and writings. Please, I beg you, take that awful killer off the air. I look forward to hearing from you regarding my position. After NBC broadcast the text, video, and images sent by Cho Sung Wee, most other news organizations followed suit. That video was pertinent to really describing why this terrible tragedy occurred. But almost all quickly changed direction. WPBF was among those organizations that pulled back from viewing a lot of that video and very disturbing video um, because we were quite taken aback by the intensity uh, of the reaction um, by viewers and the public. Reaction from viewers like these budding journalists who say they've learned important lessons from how the media covered the massacre at Virginia Tech. We're going to take that into consideration with decisions that we make in broadcasting. WPBF first learned about the public's reaction to our Virginia Tech coverage through emails to our news director, and he encourages similar emails on any report we air. Brian Albert, WPBF News 25. That was really great. Good job, guys. The boys' basketball team had a great season. Check this out. Good job, boys, on a great season. Do you know anyone that has ever been affected by cancer? Check this out. The 5K Walk for a Cure. 
fight for a friend. On April 6, 2007, my mother, Amy Beth Firstman, passed away of pancreatic cancer. On May 12th, which is a Saturday, there will be a walk taking place in our honor as well as other pancreatic cancer victims. This walk also benefits the Bless Garden Foundation for Pancreatic Cancer Research. The walk starts and finishes at Michael Body Scenes in Clover Hill Court. Registration begins at 7.30 a.m. and the walk begins at 8 a.m. that morning. Water, t-shirts, and ribbons will be provided at the walk. If you have any questions, contact Andrea or Mary Ann or go online to bodyscenes.com. Donations are also accepted. Please make checks payable to the Bless Garden Foundation and bring them in to me, Allie Gerstman. Thank you for your support, and I hope to see you all at the walk. Have a good day. The Dragon's Den once again honors one of the victims of the Virginia Tech again. Here's Nicole Bagata. Christopher James Bishop, yet another victim lost during the Virginia Tech massacre. Christopher was a respectful teacher at Virginia Tech University. This German instructor was said to be a born teacher. He studied ancient history as a Fulbright scholar in Germany after earning his BA. His wife, Stephanie Hoffer, is currently a teacher at the university. A kind-hearted man, also passionate about art, art worked, as, worked as a photographer in his spare time. With his friendly, passionate personality, he was capable of telling stories through his photographs. Recently, he finished constructing on, on a coffee table made up of 72 wooden tiles, each individually painted. To him, this was his most creative piece of artwork. The, the meaning of this artwork could be tied to the structure of the campus, thousands of different colored tiles all coexisting together as one piece of beauty. To the Bishop family, friends, and his students, the Dragon's Den offers sincere sympathy and best wishes. Here's our weather. Now here's your Dragon's Den AccuWeather. Hi, I'm Becky with your Dragon's Den AccuWeather. Right now it's 78 and partly cloudy, and today there's going to be some isolated thunderstorms with a high of 83. Later on tonight there's going to be some scattered thunderstorms with a low of 72. Taking a look at our extended forecast, we can see that tomorrow there's going to be isolated thunderstorms with a high of 83 and a low of 69. Sunday, it's going to be partly cloudy with a high of 87 and a low of 71. And Monday, it's going to be mostly sunny with a high of 85 and a low of 72. I'm Becky with your Dragon's Den AccuWeather. Have a great day. For everyone here at the Dragon's Den, I'm Carter. And I'm Drew. Have, Have a, a great, great day. day.